spot i mean it is it is super windy this morning kind of hoping it say a prayer that it dies down for me but um we are on the 14 foot boggy creek micro skiff uh, i actually just got this boat it is used and uh could not be more excited to use it i'm uh, gonna be trying to get you guys a lot more videos of this boat but it is an awesome boat it has everything more than i need but we're gonna be trolling motoring around today and we're gonna start off with some top water um hoping to get on some get on some redfish or snook but one thing i will say is we're going to be hiding from the wind today i'm going to be trying to utilize this get as shallow as i can go uh we got a south wind so i'm going to try to tuck up in like the north mangroves just anywhere i can get away from it because it is not fun but um for all you guys who like getting skinny for all you guys who have a micro skiff yourself this video is for you but um anyways let's get on some fish So to start off, we're gonna be throwing a three inch skitter walk, 4,000 Stratic. These have gotta be my favorite top waters. I mean, I don't really like throwing any top waters, maybe four inches max, but over three inches, cause three inch top water, I feel like the little redfish, all the snook, they can still eat it. And I, obviously I, I like catching fish. So I feel like this is just the perfect profile, it has really good action, but we'll see if it gets it done today. Basically we've just got a mangrove line, works back into a bay back here. I've seen some big fish here before, but we'll see what happens. Really want to get a fish on top water. I don't think I've gotten one snook so far this year on top water. And top water, as I'm sure it is for you guys, probably my favorite type of fishing. All right, there's something's tail right there. It was up in the mangroves. It was kind of eating something and its tail came out. It might've been a redfish. Fish just missed the top water. Little snook, that was sick. Yeah, he's a small guy, but I don't know if you guys saw that. He missed it the first time. He missed it the first time and then literally came back and just blew it up out of the water. That was sick. Oh, first fish of the day. He was fired up. Hopefully there's some other ones that are like that. Yeah, whenever you get a blow up like that, some people stop it. The best thing to do is just keep it natural. Just keep it going, you know what I mean? And if, he, if, he's, in a, if he's that aggressive, he'll come back for it, I think, but. That was sick, dude. I think it's another little snook. That guy, he missed it two times, came back, ate it. Dude, that's one thing about top water, man, is I don't care what size fish you're catching, it's just so fun, such cool eats, you know what I mean? Little snook. There you go, buddy. Thanks for playing. If we could just tuck away from the wind, have that happen a couple times, maybe have one, just that one fish that one signature fish in a video, you know what I mean? That would be awesome. I would not complain. I kind of thought it was a redfish because the first time you hit it, redfish's mouths are uh, kind of lower on their face. So a lot of times when you have a redfish trail it, you'll see like a big broad bat come out of the water or they just, they don't like, they kind of miss it. You know what I mean? It's harder for them to eat a top water, I feel like. And that guy missed it. I thought it, it might've been a little rat red, but a little snook. It gets super shallow back in here. I've only ever been back in here on a super low tide, but I think the tide's a little bit higher. So I'm wondering if there might actually be some fish back in here. We're about to find out. That's why you get a micro skiff, right? To tuck back into these places. So I think there's some fish back in here. There we go. It's a little bit better one, I think. Look at that, man. 
That is such a sick eat. It's coming at the boat. Yeah, it's a little better one right there. Ooh, look at that jump, man. Gosh. Let's get this guy in the boat. Come on, buddy. I've had cleaner landing sessions, but hey, he's in the boat, man. All right, guys. Oh, he's ready to go. Nice little 24 inch snook right there on the top water. Beautiful eat, man. Let's get him back in the water. First solid fish down. That was on the three inch skitter walk. I'm not even frayed up, which is nice. This is like the pearl color. Awesome color, I think. Well, honestly, that fish right there, that fish and eat, makes it worth coming out here, man. I mean, that's just an awesome little little fish he'll be a slot snook before you know it you know what i mean kicked off strong nice quick release i mean guys can't really ask for much better of a start to the morning three snook one of them being being uh 24 inches which is just a you know it's a pretty sized catch it is it's probably what eight something not even eight o'clock yet all right i like that far mangrove line it's going to be completely protected. Should be able to hopefully get on something. Oh my gosh, I mean you, that is why you come out here, man. He's not big, but gosh, I don't know if you guys saw that. God, I love snook. Yep, easy release, I'll take that any day of the week. I don't know if you guys saw that. Man, that is awesome. I casted, got hung up on a tree. <laughs> Same spot I just casted three times in a row. So I was like, eh, I'm just gonna reel it up. Start reeling it, I see something trail it, stop. Boom, boom, misses, misses. Oh my gosh, man, that is just so fun. Gosh, thankful to be out here. Definitely worst places you could be, you know what I mean? So, always grateful to get out here. That was not, I mean, I don't know if you guys saw that cast. That was an awesome cast. I thought I was hung up, but it dropped right down. Right down in the, in the shade and, I mean, you can just tell there's gonna be a fish there. Wow, that thing is, that just shows you how aggressive these snook are, man. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm using a three inch skitter walk. He's probably nine inches. It's crazy how aggressive these things are. That guy is gonna grow up to be a 40 inch snook, hopefully. All right, well, that was a extremely successful morning. I'm excited for the rest of the day, man. That makes you want to come out. Makes you want to keep fishing. Makes me want to keep throwing top water today, which I think we're gonna do. But let's see what happens. All right, well. We're back to fishing, thankfully. Had to just pull around a little bit. That wasn't fun. Let's just get on, let's get on some fish. Spooked a big one up here. There's a little channel right here. Super shallow and then it goes to a channel way back in here. I could 100% see some fish back in here. Feels like a decent fish right here. It's kind of coming at me. Good snook, good snook. 
Good snook, boys. Good snook right here. Let's go. Woo! There we go. That's why you come out here. That's a slot snook, I think. No need to rush it. Let's just get him to the boat. Don't got a net, so I'm gonna have to grab him, but. Just frayed through it. Just frayed through it. 30 pound leader. I loosened my drag too once I got him out here, but you know, that's fishing. I mean, that's just, I mean, I'll take that. Fought it, fighting a slot snook, I was probably low 30s. Well, can't do much about that. What I can do is retie and continue to try to get after them because these fish are here. I mean, that was a beautiful, beautiful area. I don't know if you guys saw, I was casting up there, got it right up near the mangroves. He, he just destroyed it. But let's get another jig head on. Try to get you guys a fish in the boat. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw that. I casted right up in there, got it right up on the thing. I saw something spook, but turns out that must've been him just eating my bait, which is honestly probably why he snapped off. He might have, he might have had it too much time. It might have been down in his throat. You know what I mean? Maybe it was under his gill plate. You know what? We're gonna get out and wade fish. Let's leave the wallet at home. big fish around this corner. Yep. Some pigs on mine. You guys should have been able to see that. I just want one of those to commit to it once in my life, man. I don't know if you guys saw that, that redfish came up back out of the water. I don't know what made him turn away from my goal. If you look committed to it, those fish are just so hard to catch, man. You see all these videos of people online having these crazy eats. I feel like I never get them, you know what I mean? They're always so close yet so far. I mean, what other boat besides a micro skiff controlling motor in literally five inches of water? It's awesome. Oh my God, there's an iguana. Guys, I am in Southwest Florida. I just saw an iguana swimming underwater towards those mangroves. That is actually the craziest thing I've seen in a while, dude. Dude, what is happening today? I 100% iguana, saw his striped tail, he was green. That is so cool. There we go. I knew there'd be a fish under there. Oh, spit it, little snook. Monster snook, man. He just didn't need it. No way. 
Guys, this is an absurd day. I just cannot do anything right. Monster Snook was sitting up in that shallow spot right there. I tried setting the hook, he just didn't have it. I, I barely felt a piece of him, you know what I mean? Bro. There's got to be fish back here, man. There's current going back in here. Big fish. I don't know what it is. Snook or red. That might have been him. That was awesome, man. That was so awesome. Come on, stay hooked, unlike the others. Come on. Come to Papa. Oh, he's, he's got another run in him. That thing's barely hooked. Come on, get in the boat. There we go. There we go. Guys, we have broken the drought. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys heard that. Let's go. I don't know if you guys heard that. Little 22 inch snook here, just beautiful snook. I literally saw something and then I was like, hey, I see a nice fish. I was twitching my gulp on the bottom. He came up and killed it. Awesome fish, let's let him go. He's ready to go, man. Look at that. All right, guys. So it has been a pretty crazy morning. Just missed fish, big fish. Had a big snook boat side. Caught two 24-inch snook. Um, awesome morning. Awesome morning. First trip on the micro skiff. But I'm going to re-rig. I mean, the boat is just a mess right now. Just nonsense going on. But I'm going to re-rig all three rods. We got about an hour left before I got to go. But we're going to get on some fish the last couple, time, last couple trips. I've seen redfish back here. New spot. I'm going to fly the drone up, show you guys how pretty it is back here, but it's time to get on some fish. Let's freaking go, man. Talk about breaking the micro skiff in, dude. I don't know where we're going. All right, I lied. I'm not re-rigging every rod. I'm trying to get back fishing. That's a good snook right there. Oh, he threw it. He was about the same size, probably 24. Gosh, man, this spot back here is awesome. There's just so many snook that are of decent size, like big fat snook, you know what I mean? I mean, we're getting narrow in here, boys. Okay, let's put this camera back down in here. Let's not have that happen. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, I mean, that was just an awesome day. Super grateful to be able to get out here. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I wish I could have caught one of those fish for you guys, one of the big ones, but at the end of the day, I mean, that's why you come out here, you know what I mean? It's like, if you caught every fish, you know, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be a challenge, but awesome. I mean, caught two or three, a mid 20 snook, like 24-ish, that one on top water was awesome. Um, had a really nice snook on, lower slot, probably low 30s on. Jumped a couple times for you guys. Couldn't get him into the boat, snapped off boat side, just frayed me off. Um, 
had that awesome redfish come up, look at mine, his back was out of the water, shallow water. I mean, at the end of the day, we use this boat what it's meant for. And I think like going back in there, I mean, I couldn't have gotten the egret back in there, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's fun to capitalize on a boat like this, take advantage of it. It was a low tide when we got back in there. I was pushing the boat at one point. Like that's that's why you buy it, you know what I mean? That's why you, that's why you own one of these. Um, but awesome day, super grateful once again. Gotta thank God to get out here. Um, hope, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, if you do, like and subscribe. I'm gonna be cranking out content for you guys. Um, gonna be using this boat, Egret, going offshore a little bit. Um, just a bunch of different stuff. But anyways, awesome day. Super grateful. I'll see you guys in the next video.